On a May 4, 2017 report in Off the Grid News, six months in jail for selling cookies? Yes, you heard that correctly. A ruling from a judge may be needed to sell homemade baked goods in Wisconsin. Three home bakers in the state are challenging a state law that can punish people who sell homemade cookies, brownies, and other treats with up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. Lafayette County Judge Dwayne Jorgensen will rule on May the 31st if Wisconsin's ban on the sale of homemade baked goods is unconstitutional, the Associated Press reported. The challenge to the home baking ban was brought by the Institute for Justice. The Institute filed a lawsuit challenging the ban on behalf of Lisa Curvist, Chris Marion, and Delia Inns. The three women try to augment their family incomes by selling baked goods. Quote, so I lost that income stream, which was modest but helpful, Inns said. It's really hard to make it on a farm. In Wisconsin, these have been hard times, and ways that people can make a little extra money is important. Unquote. Inns used to make extra cash with her homemade cinnamon rolls until she found that she might face fines or jail time. Her alternative would have been to spend tens of thousands of dollars to open a commercial bakery. Ironically, Inns is allowed to sell a wide variety of other homemade food, including jams and pickles, but not baked goods. Wisconsin is one of the two states that banned the sale of homemade baked goods. The other is New Jersey. I found this very interesting because, once again, the state is sticking its nose and making laws and passing laws in which it does not belong in. You have a right to pursue happiness. So I wanted to give an update to this hearing. And yes, it was a victory. Thank you to these three individual ladies and to the Institute of Justice for fighting for these three ladies who now have helped to ensure that your unalienable rights to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, for you to be able to sell what you make without the government getting involved in that, now has been decided upon. And it was a victory for Wisconsin home bakers. June 1st, 2017, it was reported by the Assistant Director of Communications that Wisconsin became a little freer and a lot more delicious after Lafayette Circuit Court judge struck down the state's ban on selling home to baked goods as unconstitutional. Wisconsin was one of the only two states to ban entrepreneurs like Lisa Curvist, Chris Marion, and Delia Inns from selling cookies, cakes, muffins, and bread simply because they are made in a home kitchen. The three bakers teamed up with the Institute for Justice in January of 2016 to challenge the ban in state court. In his ruling issued late yesterday, Judge Dwayne Jorgensen found that the ban had no real or substantial connection to protecting the public because there was no instance of anyone ever becoming sick from an improperly baked good, despite home baked goods being legally sold in 48 states. In addition, Judge Jorgensen found that the ban continued to exist because of the lobbying efforts of special interest groups like the Wisconsin Bakers Association who did not want to have to compete with home bakers. Yesterday's decision has been years in the making. Wisconsin's home bakers have been fighting for their right to bake and that right has finally been vindicated by the courts, said Erica Smith, an attorney with the Institute for Justice. Judge Dwayne Jorgensen rightfully stated that the primary effect of this ban is to protect established businesses from competition. Not only is protecting other businesses from competition un-American, but it is also unconstitutional. The Wisconsin Constitution protects the right to earn an honest living, and we are pleased that the court agrees. Under the ban, if a Wisconsinite wanted to sell even one cookie, they had to acquire a burdensome commercial license, which required spending tens of thousands of dollars to rent or to build a commercial kitchen. Numerous inspections and multiple fees. 
New Jersey is now the only state to have a similar ban. This is more than a win for U.S. home-based bakers. It's recognition for all small businesses that we have the right to earn an honest living and will not be stymied because of industry influence, explained Lisa Curvist, a Wisconsin baker who challenged the law. I am excited to get in my kitchen and start baking as finally Wisconsin is truly open for business. I am so happy and excited to share this victory with every home baking entrepreneur in Wisconsin, stated Delia Inns, another baker who challenged the law. This is truly a win for entrepreneurs everywhere. Now let's bake. The decision is especially important for Wisconsin's struggling farm families and tiny rural towns, said Chris Marion, the third baker who challenged the law in court. With abundant natural resources and such a strong agricultural history, we should be leading, not lagging behind in the growing farm to foodie movement. I know many home bakers who cannot wait until they are officially allowed to sell their baked goods at farmers markets across the Badger State. Across the United States, governments at every level are chipping away at the rights of food entrepreneurs through irrational and overly burdensome regulations, continued Smith. Since 2013, the Institute for Justice's Food Freedom Initiative has been challenging laws that dictate what foods people can make, buy, sell, and even advertise. This is not just a victory for Wisconsin home bakers, but a win for all food entrepreneurs and food lovers who want the government out of their kitchens." Unquote. Congratulations, Wisconsin, in that victory. It is amazing how much the state has bent over the years in order to make sure that corporations do not have to compete with individuals. And this is one of the things that is the difference between capitalism and crony capitalism. The crony capitalism would be the monopoly by those baking that make and enforce those rules by lobbying Congress and those going through with those laws in order to ensure that they didn't have competition. Real capitalism is what just happened, where they are going to have to compete with the farmers and, and the ladies that are on these farms. And may the individuals who are eating those cookies decide. Until next time, as always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis, and good night.